welcome to the Beyond Cinema Studio, Alicia, Lisa. Um, firstly, congratulations on having the world premiere of, of the film up here. Um, how does it feel having had that moment, uh, like with the audience, everyone watching the film? Like, how does it feel for you as a filmmaker? I know, second time around for the, on the feature. Oh, wow. It's, uh, I mean, Oh, it's it's wonderful, but strange also in a way because you work so so much, you know, by your own and you know and show the world. It's a totally different thing. So of course you're nervous. Yeah. Because you're giving up control in that moment yeah, to the audience. Yeah, exactly. Which that's, seems to be that's when you're theory. letting go. Yeah. 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 Now it has kind of its own life. Yeah. Kind of I have a problem with that. So <laughs> <laughs> even if you like it, that's that's something that really makes me uh, stressed. Yeah. Um, of course. You worked together on Pure, your first feature. So having your kind of entire feature career being in this partnership, does it feel like Alicia's going off and cheating on you with Bill Condon <laughs> and these other, does it? these other people? No, but uh, because she's telling me what you're doing. So <laughs> it's yeah, okay. I keep her I keep her updated. It's okay. It's okay. I was a bit worried uh, in the beginning because it all happened so fast for her, like and you were so young and and I remember, you, you know, after the first film, you call you called me because you were sad that you didn't go. Did you? I didn't get into theater school. Theater school, you know, and you know, like two months after, you had this international role. So it was really, I mean, a big step. Yeah. For you. Mm. So I was a bit worried, like how. Uh, That's why she catched me and again. Brought me <laughs> back. back in. Yeah. What is it like for you as a young actress to work with a director? again a second time and have that I think it's such a great experience actually because it's also I mean with the film that we did first it's you, you built you have to build a quite you know tight relationship and you want to do that and now when we knew each other we kind of we had done all of that that work we were able to kind of just dig mm. in and do you know the deep work mm. together mm. from the start which do you prefer to go off on location and shoot to get away from all the day to day so you can concentrate, or do you like that, doing things? Yeah, I, th I really do that, I think that helps. I also like that part of filmmaking, I think. It, it, you kind of get, you know, very, it's a very intense period of time, and hopefully you're with some inspiring, great group of people and you all kind of work together. It's like a, this big machinery, and you're very focused because you think and you believe in something together and you want it to be as good as possible so it's a very if it's a good experience it's a very you know yeah it's a it's a, it's a nice bubble <laughs> it's also interesting because Erica your character in this film you know wants to create this hotel situation that she's heard about where you go off and you're able to recreate yourself and have a different life and present yourself to whoever's around you in whatever way you want. It is kind of reflective of an actor's lifestyle, into a sense as well. Yeah, I, th I, I, I really, I, I do. <laughs> I do think I do enjoy to, you know, go into those different characters and kind mm. of escape from my own self and my own context for a while. But usually, only rock stars get to trash rooms, like. But in this film, you get to. I get to act do that. that. I've actually been longing for that kind of scene. <laughs> you know, I remember mm. I saw this uh, film, and I think it's called Little Children, many times, ago, many years ago, where they crashed this whole room with glass figures, and I was always thought, oh, please give me a scene like that mm. someday. And this was a bit like it. <laughs> Lisa, I know we talked a little bit off camera earlier, but how personal are these stories to you? I mean, both Pure and this have mental illness as a kind of sub theme as well or a strong theme actually mm. um, and mother-daughter relationships or ch child parent relationships mm. why why do you think it is that you're kind of returning to these themes what what's the bigger goal uh, I don't really know but I yeah it's all about all, everybody has identity crisis also pure I mean it's like it's also about someone who who starts from a place and want to become someone else so it's and I don't really know uh, why that's the ch subject, but I, I figure it out. I, all, I always end up there. Um, <laughs> no, of course. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of experience in my in my personal life, uh, of in my family of uh, of uh, uh, yeah, sickness, mental sickness, and 
and I think it's but it's not you don't even have to go so far in it it's, it's like it's all I hope that it's also questions that everybody has like right like who am I and I want to change I want to become another person I think in hotel this I mean they do it in an extreme way but uh, but I think I hope that it's it's not it's not my intention to do you know a film about freaks or about strange people it's my I um, for me the film is about like everybody that I definitely don't think you have I think mm. when I read it the first time that was what I felt I felt like also with those diff it's five very different characters and I could kind of you know I'm not lo nothing like them but I could feel for them and understand them and see the issues of trying to find ways of become happy and I I I think it's so interesting the idea of can you just choose to make yourself happy yeah and or some of the characters obviously make a choice to go to various extremes like yeah. mind torture rituals and things like that but mm. um, others make choices that even though they're doing them in this faux setting in this fake setting um, some of them it's spilling over into their real lives as yeah. well yeah because I think it's also about breaking patterns I think especially when it comes to you know, anxiety and, you know, going through traumas, you kind of get locked in, in the, the trauma gets bigger than yours, than you. Um, and I think they are quite brave in the way that they, you know, play and just, you know, they get a perspective yeah. to their own. Yeah, and also they want to, they want to feel good, right? Yeah. They, they want to feel good. So I think it is quite oh, sweet. sweet. Like they're really trying. Like, okay, now I'm more happy. Let's let's. Okay, I help you. I help. Uh, and then that's something I really love with this group. And I think that's. I adorable. really miss the group. Yeah, we all miss the group. I miss the group <laughs> also. David, uh, I asked Miss David tonight, and he yeah. oh, I miss the group. <laughs> like, everybody's missing the group. It and was they, uh, wonderful to shoot and to work with these actors. It okay. was just it a really pleasure. Seemed like every element of each other were, was like together it would create one kind of whole person because everyone was yeah because I mean I thought it was it yeah. was fun how she created those people and I remember the first time we shot in a hotel I kind of saw us, us five standing there and then we had the extras and they looked like they just fitted right in at that hotel mm. and we just seemed like a very odd constellation of people but that's because we're all so different, but that's also why we make such a great one. Like you said, yeah. I think we all... I kind of want to see an Anna <laughs> Sophie like playing music at a hotel bar somewhere where I go into. Mm. <laughs> music obviously um, is a big part of this film as well. Mm. Is there really no Swedish film that's complete without some rock set on the soundtrack? <laughs> <laughs> I did a short when I used rock set also. <laughs> I, like, I think rock set rock is set, nice because it's kind of a cliche and I like cliches. Very cool. Well, thanks for coming in and spending a few minutes with us. We appreciate mm, the time. Thank, Thank you. you.